at the heart of Africa's bustling aviation industry, a battle not for territory, but for the soaring hearts of consumers, rages on above the vast skies. Airpiece, a rising titan, stands poised to challenge the status quo of international air travel. The competition is not just about mere pricing, it's a battle for inclusivity, fairness, and the region's economic empowerment. In recent weeks, the clouds have darkened with allegations swirling around egregious underpricing maneuvers undertaken by foreign carriers on the lucrative Lagos London Air route. This isn't just any skirmish, it's a microcosm of how global aviation powerhouses have long pulled economic strings under the guise of fair competition to stifle the growth of potentially potent regional players. Amid accusations of foul play, the narrative being spun is one of calculated suppression. Airpiece has, with no shortage of grit and ambition, fought its way to the fore, only to find the skies crowded not just with planes, but with obstacles seemingly designed to thwart its ascent. According to Alan Onyema, the infrastructural hurdles and underhanded pricing tactics by legacy foreign competitors are symptomatic of a deeper, more sinister stratagem. The aim, it seems, is to dismantle the burgeoning Nigerian airline, a perilous precedent given the legacy carrier's overwhelming international clout. Through the jargon of underpricing, a canny observer sees a volition far beyond the bottom line. While the ticket costs plummet beneath the surface, the end game is to outlast, outspend, and ultimately outflank the rising challenger. A potent allegory to the classic tale of David and Goliath, albeit one with more zeros in the stakes. Allegations of monopolistic behavior aren't new in the high altitude game. In this instance, the metaphorical sling is the pursuit of a fair marketplace. Yet the broader accusation of unfairly leveraging market share and dominance over Africa's airspace remains an unspoken cloud in an otherwise technicolor industry. In a market largely defined by monopolistic or oligopolistic structures, the battle's strategic linchpin is consumer welfare. Big airlines have been accused of manipulating ticket prices, limiting consumer choice, and indirectly dampening economic growth. Mm -hmm. However, as companies such as Airpeace gain traction and public support, the narrative of David versus Goliath transpires to one that is more about the customer than profit margins. African airlines have an opportunity to not only compete, but also challenge and change the industry's established norms. In this price war, one party is often overlooked, the consumer. The ebb and flow of ticket prices are a telling metric of power play high above the clouds. African travelers in quest of international horizons often find themselves caught amidst the crossfires. Collateral damage in a battle they did not choose. The overpricing or artificial scarcity of tickets can be significantly damaging to the consumer's pocket and, by extension, to their willingness to fly, curbing the demand for air travel. The expansion of airlines like Airpeace presents a beacon of hope. Offering competitive pricing and more, such as employment opportunities and regional development, they can soar past the international behemoths, empowering local economies and travelers. They offer not only an alternative, but a necessary catalyst for market growth and diversification, resonating deeply with the customer. African airlines have signaled a resounding eagerness to challenge conventions and cater to this rising tide of consumer demand.
The strides Air Peace is taking, not just in terms of expanding its fleet and routes, but also in approaching the skies as a platform for social and economic upliftment, resonate deeply. The allegations of unfair gameplay are a stark reminder that for a sustainable future, the principles of fair competition need to be overseen vigilantly. Governments, regulatory authorities and industry watchdogs must ensure an equitable playing field. One that champions the potential and contributions of local airlines. Associations such as the African Airlines Association AFRAE, serve as vital watchdogs in this regard, working tirelessly to foster cooperation for a sustainable aviation industry on the continent. This is a responsibility that extends beyond borders and corporate boardrooms, touching the lives of millions who dream of the skies. But beyond policies and infrastructure, it is also crucial for consumers to support their local airlines by choosing to fly with African carriers. Not only are they contributing to the growth of their own economies, but also sending a message to international airlines that they are willing to support and trust their own. This can help level the playing field and give African airlines a fair chance to compete. The narrative of air peace and the price war above Africa symbolize not just a struggle over market dominance, but a battle for the very ethos of fair commerce. The African skies, rich with potential and promise, beckon to be navigated not by the whims of monopolies, but by the virtues of competition and collaboration. The onus is now on the industry leaders, legislators and travelers alike to ensure that this potential is unlocked, to write a tale not of suppression and suffocation, but of expansive horizons and soaring dreams. The altitude of our aspirations, after all, is no place for the weight of prejudice or price fixing. It is a realm for the freedom of fair competition and the exhilarating spirit of equitable enterprise.